Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today we have here the SH Figure Arts Power from the Chainsaw Man series. And honestly, I've been waiting for this one. Uh, if you, you know, have seen the SH Figure Arts uh, Chainsaw Man slash Denji figure, um, he honestly really shocked me and I highly praise what they did with him. Um, they did take some interesting liberties with this figure, for instance, uh, having to do with you know, the soft goods or soft plastic, I guess you could say. Um, and we'll get into that a little bit later, but definitely some interesting changes. Um, but overall, still a great figure. Um, but at this point, I think it's it's good for us to just jump into talking about her. So uh, let's cut and we'll get into talking about the figure overall, and then we'll jump into articulation. So firstly, out of the box, you're going to be getting her with pretty much this regular uh, smirk expression as well as the two fists and coming out of the box you're going to be getting a little cat meowy if you want to if you want to be specific you're going to get her blood hammer and surprisingly it's really light so it's not that heavy which explains why she can hold it pretty well in one hand um, and and not have it like fall over or she fall over at all while holding it so uh, really cool and interesting to see that. I'm not sure how this will compare to the uh, Figma, as I'm not sure if they're going to have it be heavy or if it's going to be a lighter material. Um, also, coming out of the box, you will be getting a few sets of hands here. The peace sign, kind of holding out hands. Another set of, I guess you could say waving hands, maybe, I don't know. Um, and these ones are kind of like grabbing, grabbing hands. And these are the holding hands for the blades and hammer and uh, mallet and all that kind of stuff. And over here, you can see we're going to be getting two blades. And if, like I said, we're going to be getting that mallet. If it wants to come out the box, it does not. But you can see it right there. It looks really nice. Um, and then we're going to be getting four additional faces. So you've got the smiling. Uh, you've got the yelling. You got the nervous and kind of fearful faces. Uh, I'm assuming maybe those are more responding to like Makima, maybe. Um, but yeah, definitely interesting. And if you're wondering why my box looks so beat up, I, I have no idea. Um, both of the packages I got today, for some reason, were like that. So not really sure why, but hopefully, you know, they... Uh, Nothing happened inside with the actual, you know, accessories. But from what I can tell, they all look good. So anyways, talking about this figure now. So, power. In comparison to the Denji figure, I still like what they did more with Je Denji there. Uh, and that's mostly just because he is, like, almost what feels entirely uh, a soft plastic kind of guy, right? They do have soft plastic bits on the jacket piece, um, and a little bit here on the shirt piece, but it's not as much as it was for Denji, right? Uh, for Denji, he also had soft plastic here in the kind of crotch area um, for that whole you know, fixture right there. And this one, this time, it's a lot more of a harder plastic. And I'm not sure if maybe there was different feedback that went into it when they were creating the figure at the time. Um, but for me, I would have liked to see more soft plastic. Now for her shoes, you know, they are somewhat soft plastic, and I mean, um, they don't have that dedicated, like, pivot there uh, where, you know, you would have an ankle swivel. It's all tied in here, similar to Denji. So there, it is there, but it's not just as soft as Denji's shoes were, uh, which allow you to kind of really get that extra range of motion, I feel. But I guess maybe if you, you know, work with it enough, it can get there. So anyways, also talking about soft plastic, I thought it was really weird that they have these bits of soft plastic here, but when you get along here to this back portion, uh, it is hard plastic. I, I'm not really a fan of that, but for whatever reason, that's what they chose to do, I guess, to keep the kind of shape. But I mean, at that point, you know, you could have maybe still kept this soft plastic and kept the kind of cuts in there. I don't know. Uh, that's just a personal opinion because I, I love just how flexible um, Denji as a figure was when it came to that soft plastic and I'll bring him up really quick actually Stay right there power. All right, his tie likes falling off but like you can you can see 
soft plastic shirt, soft plastic crotch area there, not to be weird. Um, and then the shoes, of course, just so much more flexible. It just, it's kind of a night and day difference with that. And that's really all it is for me, is just having that extra flexibility there. But uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, she is still very articulated and can do a uh, numerous amount of things, um, but certain just questionable design choices, I guess, again, like I said, uh, like this portion here being an independent rotated piece that you can move up and down. Um, and then this portion right here that also goes up and down kind of, yeah, that, that's pretty much it um, in terms of just general design topic, complaints, pros, cons, whatever. Uh, everybody's going to have a different outlook when it comes to that. And that's just my general opinion on it. So anyways, I think now is a good time to kind of move into the uh, articulation phase. So let's get straight into it. All right. So the first thing that we'll start with with her is the hair. So we do have some hair articulation here in the back. Uh, it can hold itself pretty well. There you go. And then you can put it down. Uh, and of course, you can take off the face plates uh, right here at the seam. And as for head articulation, uh, if you can get that much to the side, about that much to the side, uh, going back, obviously not too much because of the hair being there, but I mean, you can kind of lift the hair up and get some additional articulation there. Uh, going down, and that's kind of utilizing the neck there. And for the arms, she can do her T-pose. And of course, we just kind of briefly talked about it, but uh, there is some articulation here. Let's see if I can get a little closer. There is some articulation there between this uh, uh, sleeve portion, I guess you could call it, where it connects to kind of keep it like she's not really wearing it all the way. And of course, you've got your butterfly joint there. And here as well. Oh. And there it goes, popping out. That's fine. That's on me, though, for not paying attention. As you can see on the side right there, it's similar to a lot of the figures you actually you'll notice kind of have that now where uh, there's an additional peg that goes into the bottom as opposed to just being, like, inserted inside. So maybe that's helping with the butterfly joint portion of it. But I hold on while I try to do this. Without, there we go. It looks weird because of the jacket pieces. Uh, it's making me like, am I doing this right or what? But yeah, that's about as far as she gets it. I mean, that's really good considering, you know, all the other things kind of in the way, I guess you could say. Um, also, she's got the bicep swivel here. And I mean, mine is just a little bit tight, but uh, that's fine. I'll fix it later. But again, you get to kind of see that here on this side. So the art popped off again, that's my fault. Putting it back on. All right, there we go. And of course you have the drop down mechanic kind of there. All right. And we have our articulation of the elbow. And we have a wrist swivel. Now for the ab crunch here, of course, you've got this piece right here, so not really going to get in the way of you doing anything. She can go into a 90 degrees, it looks like, pretty much. Going back, not too much, but decent amount, and side to side. And then, I mean, I guess if you want to count these flaps as articulation, but uh, nothing too crazy there. They don't really hold too much of the know pose there uh, as for the legs really good articulation really good uh, movement there she also can do a pretty decent splits going the other way as well and that again that soft plastic uh, definitely helps it's not going to get too much in the way of you trying to utilize her articulation and the legs and here we go bend at the knee and let's just see without the plastic in the way. And got your swivel. No swivel there at the, at the calf. There you go. And then as we talked about, it is 
there for the articulation. I mean, you can still go side to side, but it's just not as soft as Denji's, for example. So that'd be the only gripe there, but you still have your toe articulation. Sometimes these are a little, sometimes, yeah, these are a little stiff out of the box, but over time they, they'll get a little bit better. But let me just, come on power. Yeah, why are these so stiff? There we go. So, you got your toe articulation there. But yeah, overall. Oof, I don't know why that's so tight. Overall, she's really good though. Um, definitely gonna be able to hit some really cool dynamic poses with her. It's gonna look really nice just overall having her uh, next to Denji. And if you didn't know, Samurai Sword or Katana Man, however you call him, uh, he is releasing this month actually. I believe so if you have a pre-order from a Japan retailer then uh, expect him pretty soon but yeah overall I really do love this figure uh, despite you know obviously having a little bit of a higher expectation for soft plastic across the board but I do still like what they did with her and just the level of articulation she still has even with those little gripes uh, is a lot for me and I still love it so Without further ado, let's move on into the next segment and I'll let you guys see what she looks like with some of these accessories. Appreciate you guys for watching. Catch out, or look out for, oh God, I cannot talk today for some reason. Look out for other videos. Um, it's been a lot of news randomly coming out. And uh, yeah, SCCC is coming up pretty quickly. So uh, it's gonna be a pretty busy couple of weeks. But anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.